How do you feel when you eat this? Ecstatic. Um, there's a banh mi place. Should we go there instead? When I told you I was looking for one of the most delicious Vietnamese foods you could find, yeah. Um, why did you think of pig brain? I think it plays with your first impression. I mean, when you think about pig brain, most people would think that it's gross. Yeah. Yeah. But once you get through that, it's freaking amazing. Today, Phoebe, a One Trip team member, is taking me out to try a soup that has a few special ingredients. Do people say that eating pig brain makes you smarter? People do say that, but then it's not scientifically proven yet. Do you think they're going to put some money into researching that? Scientifically. You know, I can do that myself because I'm a huge fan. Hold on, I have a question about this. Is this part of your outfit? It's how, how it Vietnamese girls like go around on your bike. You so know? you wouldn't wear this around, right? Just on the bike? No, just on the bike. Can I try it on? <laughs> sure. Because I'm also very modest. <laughs> I don't want to show too much leg. If you're in Vietnam and you're a lady <laughs> with a skirt, you got to get one of these, okay? I mean, you don't have to. I'm not trying to be oppressive here, but uh, you certainly can. You got a little bow here. And you got the bow in front too. <laughs> All right, let's go eat. Wow. That's big brain. All right, she's putting some brain around the periphery of the soup. Oh my gosh. This is about 12 pounds of pig brain. This is the collective consciousness of about 35 pigs. When you see this, when you look at this bucket of brain, does it provoke hunger? Not really. I feel a little bit grossed out by it. But then I told you oh. before, you know, once you get through that, over that, it's pretty cool. Then you get to Yummy awesome. Land? Yes. We're going to Yummy Land soon. The soup is here in this big old basin. Egg the broth yeah. has kind of an egg drop consistency. Then there's some quail egg. There's, oh, there's careful, about to be a, a ton of quail eggs. So she just keeps adding to the soup as people are eating it, huh? Mm hmm What else is inside here? You can see some crab pieces. Oh, yeah, a little crab. crab. Yeah, mushroom. And mushroom. And that's everything? That's about it. I'm ready to man up. I'm going to get past the visuals. I'm ready to okay. try this. Let's do it. This place so far, we've been here maybe about 10 minutes, yeah. and it is like a conveyor belt of people. People drive up, they get some to-go containers full of the pig brain soup, and they take off, never to be seen again until probably tomorrow. Oh, and this is the little snack version. She does a little bag too. The little baggies of soup are adorable. <laughs> like, I would want to find that in my stocking Christmas morning. Oh, what is this, Mom? Oh, we got you a little baggie of that old pig brain soup you've been wanting from Amazon.com. <laughs> the century egg, when you open the shell up, it's brown, and then the yolk has become a mushy, stratified yeah, green color. That. It has a ammonia, a strong ammonia smell that someone would compare to urine. Yeah, it's called horse urine in Thailand. If you're gonna be eating one weird food, it's good to offset it with a bunch of weird things at once, so you're completely confused. We have the soup now, and it's more beautiful than I could have imagined. <laughs> First of all, this is the most viscous broth I have ever seen in my life. It is like a white egg yolk, and I will say, it smells amazing. Yeah. It smells really good, very peppery. Now, what is your approach oh for eating this? What is your strategy? I never save the best for last, so I'm gonna go for the brain first. Oh gosh, we're getting a chunk of brain. Are we really doing it? Ready? Okay. Yeah, cheers. <coughs> you love it so much. All right, first impressions. Yes, visually, not stunning. There is no doubt about it. This is absolutely a brain. And so it doesn't bother you at all. That Looking into already. the emotional centers of the brain, <laughs> the critical thinking centers, knowing that this pig had lived a full life and all its memories and all the meaning to its life are encased right here in this little piece of brain matter. That never bothered you? No. So the brain texture, huh. it is, it's very fatty and it's uh, very mushy. You can almost chew it with your tongue like by pressing your tongue against yeah. the roof of your mouth, it's gonna squish all over the place. This seems actually more intimidating than the brain. But here we go, we've got century egg. How is it? Do you ever not wanna like something, but then you do anyways? Mm -hmm. It 
feels so wrong and so right at the same time. Wow, especially in this thick broth, it kind of, it makes it a little bit less intense and it all blends together. And you eat this like once a week? Or more. Or more. How much does this cost for this bowl? Uh, this one has everything, so it's around 38,000. 38,000, so about $2 US. When you say it has everything, we did we did all the options. We did the moonroof, we did the power windows. <laughs> we did like the luxury automobile here. There's nothing else that could possibly be put in here, right? Okay, 100%, I'm in yummy land right now. I'm totally gonna finish this, but I do wanna say thank you for introducing this to me. I would have never found this on my own. And for you guys, if you're interested in this kind of insider Vietnamese foodie experience, please hit up one trip. This video is made possible through them. Their company putting on amazing food tours in Saigon and Hoi An. And awesome. I've done the tour and it's awesome, okay? Links for that are in the info box down below. I'll see you guys next week. A peace.